Hi guys, it's Tam. Welcome back to my channel. Today you're going to see me journal in my Hobonichi Cousin Avec. I am going to be journaling for two days, March 25th and 26th. So that's what you're going to see in today's video. I hope you guys are doing well. Please leave a comment down below just saying hello and let me know what you guys are working on. So we're going to just jump right into it. For day 25, um, if you're in the state of Georgia, I don't know if you've heard about a new voting law that was passed by our governor here and so um, I believe it's made national news by now but I'm just documenting that here for day number 25 that was the day that um, he signed that new voting that new voting law into effect and so I am just um, print I printed off an announcement like an alert like a um, public service announcement so to speak so that those of us who are registered to vote here in the state of Georgia were aware as to what was going on and it gave us some options to call to oppose the bill that was being signed if we wanted to do that and so I just uh, what do you call it I just copied that off of the internet and I just printed it out on some regular copy paper and I'm going to glue it down or tape it down for day 25 as a tip in so that's what you see me working with right now and I'm just you know I glued the back and the front side of it together and I'm just trimming it down to size and then I'm going to just uh, tape it in as a tip in so that's what I'm working with as my main focal image for day number 26 and so I'm putting down some washi tape and um, I honestly do not know what line I got this from. I believe I got that from Tuesday morning a couple of summers ago. But it's just some floral washi tape. If you're looking for anything like that, I'm sure you can type in uh, floral washi tape on Amazon and you'll get a lot of options. <laughs> That's normally what I do, guys. If I'm looking for something or... Um, I may not be looking for anything Amazon will just suggest you know some things to me and I end up going down a little rabbit hole of things that I wasn't looking for but I find a whole lot of things that I like so that's my suggestion for you guys if you're having trouble and once um, the algorithms on these uh, shopping websites get an idea as to what your style is they will start suggesting things um, based on what you normally buy so I find a lot of stuff through uh, Amazon that way so I'm also taking some washi tape to put on the side of that little um, call to action printout and that's basically what turns it into a tip in guys just putting some tape down on one side of it so that it can swing back and forth and that's all a tip in is in case some of you guys are wondering and so I am going to also on the other side of that I'm going to um, give it just a little bit more what do you call it mm. I am having a I don't know I just want to make it stronger <laughs> I'm, I'm making it just a little bit stronger so that you know when I flip it back and forth it's not going to come flying out of there so now you see me taking um, a sticker putting it up at the top right hand corner that's just a sticker of a yellow Jeep and so um, I'm putting that down at the top and then I found an American flag that I'm also putting down underneath that tip in so um, there are mixed feelings about this um, voting law that the governor here passed and so I won't go into my thoughts feelings or opinions about it because you know politics has a way of dividing people and honestly it's just one of those things where everybody is not going to agree so that's why it's great to have your own journals so that you can write what your feelings and thoughts are about any given thing and then you know you have that outlet where you can just vent about you know whatever 
in your own personal private way and so i like to dig through stickers guys i think most of you already know that if you don't now you know i like all kinds of stickers and so it has become an addiction my name is tam and i am a sticker addict so <laughs> i have so many stickers and i still don't hesitate to buy more if i see something online that i like so that's where all my money goes i don't buy clothes and shoes and all that i usually spend my money on something craft related so now i'm taking some sunflower washi and i'm putting it up on the top of the page beside that jeep and i got that washi from amazon so if you're interested in that i know i can find that pretty easily and i'll post it down in the comment section for anybody that may be interested in purchasing that but again if you type in floral washi or sunflower washi i mean it's so easy to search for things these days it really is and even if you don't get the exact um, item that you see someone else using i'm sure you're going to see all different types of suggestions and you're going to not have any problem finding what you like or something that can easily take the place of what you may have seen I have not I've not had that problem <laughs> I usually find way more than I need so I just wrote in my date there and when I'm journaling in my Hobonichi I know that it comes with a date already on the page but sometimes I don't use that most of the time I cover it sometimes I use it but most of the time I don't most of the time I cover it and I just write in my date or use, you know, some other kind of stickers or something else that I may have in my stash to put the date on there in a different way. So in this particular case, I just used one of my mile liners and I just wrote out the date and the day and then I just traced it with some black uh, pen with my um, Stateler pen. So now I'm looking through one of my very favorite sticker books here and I'm just going through it, finding some stickers that I want to put down on the page. And so um, I got that donut down at the bottom, which says do not worry. And then I got a whatever one that I'm fumbling around with, fumbling around with right now. And I stuck that one down. And I'm going to put a couple more here and there, but really I'm just going to get ready to start my journaling or I'm going to do some journaling on this page. I'm going to decorate both of the pages first and then I'm going to go back and do the writing, I think, if I can remember correctly. So just continuing to flip through this book, um, one of my favorites, and I don't think I can mention that enough. So I'm just trying to see if there's something else I want to pull from it and use. I can't recall whether or not I found something. Oh, there's something right there. Some eyes. And I think that's it for the most part. And so now I'm going to decorate... Um, for day 26 and when I do my decorations on these pages honestly I just I pull out stuff from my stash guys I have a little um, craft cart that I keep out here in the open in my area and so in that cart is usually some of my most used supplies but um, I just go through you know my stuff and I find stuff that I want to use and I just put it down on the pages so that's what I suggest you guys do work with what you have and make sure you're buying things that you like and in doing that you'll never really have any issues with um, finding you know elements to put down on your pages if you're making sure that what you're purchasing is in your style and it's what you like then everything you reach for for the most part is going to be a good you know idea or a good suggestion or 
a good element to use so I'm pulling from a little sticker sheet now and the theme of this uh, sticker sheet and I think it came with like three or four sheets but um, it's just girls you know um, whether it's your girlfriends girl trips hanging out with your girlfriends and all that kind of stuff so I just pulled a couple of the stickers from that sheet and I'm going to pull, you know, uh, a sticker from a, a sticker sheet that one of you guys sent me as well. I went out this day and while I was out, I stopped by, I believe, Tuesday morning and Hobby Lobby. No, not Hobby Lobby. I don't think it was Hobby Lobby. Let me see. Joann's and Tuesday morning. Yeah, I stopped by Joann's and Tuesday morning on this day. And so, um, I just picked up a couple of things. Well, I actually ordered something online from Joann's. And you know how you can order it online and pick it up in the store. So, that's what I did um, for this day. I'm going to grab some washi. And I put some down on the right-hand side of the page. And then I grabbed this um, washi from the Dollar Tree. It's like some little forest green type washi and it also has like some pink. Mm, I don't think it's um, Sakura, Sakura flowers, but it's some pink, it's, some, it's flowers with pink, trees with pink flowers. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 so it's cute. I like it. I put it down and I put that down on the bottom page when I also had some light green washi that I also put down there as well and so I pulled this sticker that I was telling you guys about from um, a sticker sheet that one of you guys sent me I think it was Faith from uh, Faithful Mess it just says shopping and so I put that down using some more of that light green it's almost like a pastel green washi up top to put beside that, that pink sticker that says, this is the life. So those date stickers that you see me put down on the page, that's just a free uh, printable that I downloaded from the internet. And so um, you just have some people that put together just out of the goodness of their heart they put together these different journaling elements and so if you're on Instagram or you know you are uh, somebody's subscriber on YouTube that does something like that I just think it's so awesome for um, some people to think enough of other journalers that they put out these free printables so um, that's why I get most of those little date stickers from but I also have some that I purchased as well as I just write the date in with my hands or a pen or a marker and then um, what you see me doing now I'll also do a lot I'll just take some of my alphabet stickers and just write out the date spell out the date that way as well so I'm just putting down Friday and then um, uh, I'm going to use the numbers to put down the um, date as well so that's what you see me doing now just pulling 326 I'm also going to pull some more uh, stickers as well so most days honestly guys there's not a whole lot going on I just write about whatever happened that day so for me personally, it doesn't have to be anything exciting out of the ordinary. It's just, you know, documenting your everyday life. And again, for me, it's also therapeutic. So I don't have to have anything in particular going on to just journal about whatever happened that day. So I'm pulling some stickers that I ordered from a shop off of Etsy um, that came from Singapore. And so I'm putting those down. Um, one was a purse, the other was a girl, and some hearts, some little bitty hearts and things like that off of it as well. So, And 
And I think that's going to be about it. I'm going to do my journaling. And that's going to be pretty much it, guys. I don't think there's anything else um, I really need to explain about these journaling entries for today. So if you have any questions about anything, as always, I do not mind you guys asking, you know, for any questions about anything that I use in these videos or just, you know, any thing that you want to ask about my journaling I don't mind answering those as well so I'm gonna get ready to do my writing and that's gonna be pretty much it guys look in the description box it has all of my information it has um, my email address my PO box my Instagram account um, what else is down there my Etsy shop as well as the second channel that I also have here on YouTube where I journal in my Bible and I talk about my faith that is linked down there as well so please feel free to check out all of my information down there if you have any questions again please feel feel free to let me know and that's it guys so I hope you guys are doing well as always stay safe and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and I'll let you watch the rest of it with some background music so um, thank you guys so much for being a part of my YouTube family and I'll see you later bye